Hey guys, this is Chicken Hawk. And for this video, it's just about NASCAR heat, evolution, news, and stuff. So in the crew, I just found a, the car closest to a NASCAR, which was the Silverado circuit spec. It looks like a one of the Craftsman trucks back in the day. So I went ahead and used it, put a NASCAR wrap on it. Yeah. Just decided to go around a couple tracks, kind of in honor of NASCAR. So. I'm just going to review NASCAR Heat and tell you my thoughts about it. I told you about a few months ago that I was going to get it, but I didn't really say anything else other than that because that's all I knew at that time. So I've been doing, uh, what's it called, review, just watching people's videos, the developer diaries from their YouTube channel, from DMRs which is the guy, people that made it. Yeah, I told you I was gonna get it. And to start off, it won't have the Xfinity series or the truck series, which I don't really care about because they need to make the cup series good before they expand to those lower series. And if you don't know what those are, then you don't really need to know anything, unless you want to. It doesn't really matter. And, this next thing that I don't really like, there's no paint booth, which means you can't make your own car, like customize the color of it and stuff. And the Eutechnics games, the people that made the NASCAR games before this and after EA Sports did the old ones, yeah, they pretty much perfected it. That's probably the only good thing about the Eutechnics games from what I've heard. They perfected the paint booth, and now we go from a perfect paint booth, pretty much, to nothing. Yeah. Not too many people are going to be happy about that. I just think it's retarded. And game modes, there's career, which you wouldn't... Speaking of career, in other games, when you have a career mode, you could customize the car you drive, like customize your driver, the number, the make, stuff like that. And you can't make your own car in this. So whenever you get a sponsor, it would just be a red car from gameplay I've seen that they've showcased. Eh. But in this career mode, the way you start off, the first question you're asked, Chevy, Ford, or Dodge? Not Dodge. Chevy, Ford, or Toyota. You pick what make a car you want, what number you want your car, how your person looks. They got some pretty good customization too for your for your person. Yeah, you start out as a crap teen, a blank white car. You have to. You basically start and last the races you do in the first season. You have to build your team up, build your car. It's really cool. Buy engine power, better bodies, more garage space, so that way you can be more competitive, get top, better sponsors, better teams, well, better team members probably, so you can get more money to upgrade your car. It just looks really good. I think it's good. And there's season mode. That's where you basically just race a season. Like you choose if you want a six race season, a 12, a 24, then a 36, I think. Which is a 36 is the full season. And then I think, yeah, there's those, then the chase, which is the final 10 races where you get the top 16 drivers to contend for the championship. That's what that is, if you didn't really know. So, you do that. You basically just get a maxed out car. Just pick whatever driver you want. Like, if you want to win a championship as Junior, you can pick Junior. And just race for the championship, or just all of that. Okay. Here's... 
Wait. Here's the very... Here's the big thing. If this actually works, this game will be probably historic. It's got 40 player multiplayer in a racing game. That is unheard of. They could, the, the, most games right now can barely even get 20 players, much less 40. And you know why? Because they have this, they're doing a server based story. Multiplayer's gonna be server based, like shooter games. How they get those big 64 player lobbies in that's what they're doing for this. And in that multiplayer, there's three different types of PV PvP lobbies, pretty much, of what there is. You have hosted, normal, and no rules. Hosted is where the hardcore sim racers want to go. Like, serious racers, not just bashers. Bashers would be a no rules, they just smack everyone out of a place and go the wrong way and scrap them. Normal is kind of in between, like you have some skill, but you're not quite ready for hosted. And in hosted, you can kick people from the lobby. That is great. So you can kick people that are being dip nips. And of course there's race now mode, where you basically pick a car, pick a track, and go fully upgrade a car like usual. If you get in the paint scheme packs, which I'll talk about in a minute, you basically get... I'm hope, pretty sure you can pick whatever paint scheme you want to run. And paint scheme score, and I said that. That leads into our next thing. DLC. So, they'll be in packs. There's paint scheme packs. There's spotter audio packs. It's just a voice that tells you, like, Spiller, Ring Ring, Go Go Go, Call Your Inside, Your Player, Come Down If You Want, stuff like that. There's gonna have different voices for that. The game is gonna ship with Bobby Labonte as the spotter, which is what a, an old NASCAR driver retired a few years ago. So it's gonna do that. There's gonna be Darlington Throwback Schemes, packs number one. Yeah, I get the throwback paint scheme from Darlington. There's normal, just a couple. Then, there's just, it's pretty cool. I'll make another video about DLC in a minute, so thanks for watching.